guys this is Cody with code Tobe. guys today we are going to be doing lesson six machine learning of unit five data because i've been requested to do this so without further ado let's dive in so first in this learning students are introduced to the concept of artificial intelligence and machine learning using ai for ocean widgets first students classify objects as either fish or not fish and attempt to remove trash from the ocean then students will need to expand their training data set to include other sea creatures that belong in the water the second part of this activity students will choose their own labels to apply to images to our riff of randomly generated fish. This training data can be used for machine learning model that should be able to label new images on its own. So let's dive in. So first is just a video. So basically how does AI work? AI basically works as it just conveys what humans do. The AI trades on what the human does. So if you give AI an image of an apple and a banana and you tell it that a this image is an apple and then you say this image is a banana and give it 50 more images of apples and give 50 more images of bananas and you keep trading it, the AI just does what the human says and it's only based on data. Its knowledge is based on the data you give it. And after a while, it will use the images and the input you gave it to understand how an apple looks like based on the images and how a banana looks like. So let's see how this works. Okay, so here we have our AI. AI doesn't know if the object is fish or trap, but it can process images and identify patterns. Yes, so we tell you whether it's fish or not fish. So yes, we will teach AI to recognize patterns on its own. So. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do first ten tries, then we're gonna do fifty, then we're gonna do hundred. So let's go. Okay guys. So now we're at twenty. So let's click continue and see how well it can identify. <clears throat> yes, okay, so AI will analyze a random set of objects and label them. So let's go. Let's get forward. Continue. All right, so we could fairly see that our AI is accurate to an extent. Let's see where it went wrong. So first, you can see that A, it has identified an apple core as a fish. Then if you go to not fish, you could see that it had it did fairly well. So this is the AI. You can constrain the AI by 20 clicks, but then you can go even more to about 50 clicks or we'll just do 30 because the AI is fairly good. So, the more data you provide AI, the more it learns. Keep trading the AI or continue when ready. So let's continue now. Let's run and skip through. So we can see again that the AI with our new data has had kind of a bit of a change. This is because, like we said, the AI does whatever we said. Even if you make a single mistake, it will not work. So if you make a mistake saying this is not a fish, and we just say all the red fish are not fish, we could see that it will develop a cognitive bias towards red fish. So let's see. So I'm giving no to red fish and yes to every other color other than red fish. So now we're just going random. Now we can see that the AI will be very bad in identifying. Let's go. When you go on to not a fish, you can see that due to my cognitive bias that I gave that I gave the AI clearly said that red fish aren't fishes. So that's how you train AI. So we train AI to identify objects as either fish or not fish. What if this training was used to decide what belonged in the water? <clears throat> what would happen to other sea creatures? Does training approach cause intended consequences? Let's see. Yes. So now instead of only fish, we'll be using other sea creatures. And this will not be able to identify these sea creatures as we only taught, taught the AI how to recognize fish.
AI only learns what we teach it. So that's why we have to give it good data. So let's try the AI again. So let's see here. Tell it which object should be at the water cooled off. So now we have done 50. So now let's do the test and let's see if AI can do a better job. Since there's lots of variation, we will have to do millions of tests for the AI to be 100% accurate. So let's just fast forward through. Let's see. So since there is a large variation in the number of sea animals, it will also have to account for variation such as objects that do not belong in the sea. But we can all, but for, to, to, for our good, for goodness, we can see that it has not counted any fish bad. So the problem is that there's lots of variation between the fish we see here. We have whales, we have turtles, we have fish, we have crabs, we have otters and starfish. Since there's lots of variation, the AI cannot encompass what we're trying to say. So then, they are trading data in bias. So, like I said, we can tell the data what to do. If in the test, I, like I've said before, if I prefer any fish other than red, it will automatically kick the red fish out, even if it's a fish. It only does what I say as I am the trainer. AI does not have feelings and machine learning does not incorporate any of its own thoughts. A machine learning only does what we tell it to do. So if I tell it, if I give it data saying that you should, you should say that anything red, such as the red fish should not be in the water, it will kick out the red, it will take out the red fish out of the water. That is called data trading and bias. So what type of fish do you want to train AI to detect? So now we have to teach AI a new word. So we can tell it that this is the word red. How do you know what red is? We could specifically show him many images saying that this is red, this is not. And then we'll pick up the similarities between these images is the color and the other in the differences is the color. So let's go for, let's go for shape this time. Let's go for rectangular fish. We can see that now we have 50 pieces of data. So now let's go. With the training data, you have programmed AI to recognize rectangular fish. Let's see if this is true. Let's run quick two times. And we can see that it is fairly well at identifying rectangular shaped fish. So we can see that it is the third word. But then you could trade more if you wanted to. It did really it did well. But then we can look at the info. What has the AI taken into consideration? It says that it focuses on the body. The body is the most important in figuring out whether the fish is rectangular or not, because that is actually true. We are looking at the fact that whether it is it is it rectangular body or circular or triangular body. So the AI caught on that you have to look at the body, not at the colors, not at the fins, not at anything. So let's see, look at this. We can see for each fish how it felt. So each fish that had a really positive body was able to go. It did not, for this fish example, it did not take in the negative factor of colors or dorsal fit. It only looked at the factor of body and it made a decision based on that. So, number seven. So we could teach a word, the AI, a new word. Let's see if we can, let's see if we could teach AI our opinion. This is called an bias. So let's see what we could say as happy fish. This fish is not happy, not happy, not happy, not happy, happy. So we will be keep going like that. Now we have reached 50. Let's click continue. Now let's see if it's able to identify happy or not. I have mainly looked at the way the mouth has looked and a little less on the eyes. So let's see how you can identify happy fish. So you could see that it has accepted some fish that seemingly don't look happy. Let's look at this fish right here. We could see that this fish is seemingly not happy. Why has it chosen? it? Because of the cognitive bias. Wait, not that. Just the cognitive bias. We could see that it has looked at the mouth and the eyes. But guess what? It has also developed some cognitive bias towards colors for some reason. This is because we could see coincidence as most of the happy fish we see pink, purple, 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 pink, 
reddish, purple, purple. We could see lots of purple occurrences. So when I was mainly looking at that mountain eyes, it has accidentally developed cognitive bias towards colors. But I told you that I saw mouth as the most important. So that's why even though if you change the eyes, this could still have a really happy mouth. That's why it accepted it. Look at this same thing. The mouth was looking sad, but the eyes were happy, so it determined it as a happy fish. So, think about the example of machine learning you encountered, and such as, give us an example and explain how this could be addressed. This could be addressed by giving it more unbiased dating, training data, and fine-tuning it. Put your answer in the comments, and this is Kony with Gautam. Thank you guys for watching.